They say it's not the camera, but the photographer that makes a great image. So what actually happens when you take experienced photographers and give them entry level or outdated gear? Get ready to find out. I'm going head to head with photographers with inexpensive photography equipment that we normally wouldn't use. This is the Budget Photography Gear Shootout. This video is sponsored by Canon and Canon Printers. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the Budget Photography Gear Shootout. I am here with a legend today. I, I honestly, I don't know how to introduce you other than <laughs> this is the most excited I've been about anything in a really long time. This man has inspired me since I very first started shooting weddings and continues to. Without further ado, <laughs> this is the legendary Joe Busink wedding photographer from here in LA, Venice Beach specifically. I need to make this like a whole other episode. We are <laughs> gonna shoot, but you got all that first. <laughs> we are shooting with your, and huh, I'm, I'm gonna touch your camera. Oh no, no, do, 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 please. No, yeah, heavy. <laughs> it is his white workout. Yeah. Um, but we are shooting with, and I know all, everyone right here, right now is looking at this camera going, this is not a budget photography no, camera. No. It's not technically but this kit right now if you bought used which is what you should be doing yeah, yeah. if you're starting photographer is buying used yeah you can get this little combo here for under fifteen hundred dollars yeah so this is the uh five i'm sorry the no 5d mark yeah, three 5D mark i'm like r5 1d <laughs> <laughs> it has the grip on the bottom here and then this is the 70 to 200 the version two with image stabilization 2.8 uh, and of course yeah. the lens hood we are going to shoot with this legendary <laughs> a camera. monster thing it's awesome yeah let's go shoot okay bye here's the rules each photographer will shoot to their heart's content and then it's time for editing and printing after seeing our printed photos, it's up to you to determine which photographer's photo you like best. The other thing I usually tell people, my clients, when they get married, right? As they're walking down the aisle and I get to do that quick shot, maybe as they're walking down the aisle with the bridal party, yeah. I stop them. Wait, 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 wait. How are you feeling right now? And they turn towards each other. You just got married. They might kiss, they might hug, they might do that, just like that, just like that. Yeah, there you go. Hey, can you guys do me a favor? Start back there from that other part of the shade and walk towards me and look at each other and don't say a word. Just look at each other right there. Okay. I'm good. You're good? I think so. I mean, we probably have to open up some of these. Yeah. But doable. But there's enough dynamic range. You can oh, yeah. do that. No, 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 no. It's doable. I love. <laughs> these are a little cleaner. Oh, so cute. Yeah, it'll, it'll be all right. We'll fix it. Awesome. This is Joe's camera. I get to shoot with this camera. I'm gonna have you guys walk hand in hand towards right there. Beautiful. And go in for a kiss <laughs> or hit him. Good. And then just run back to me. Perfect. Oh my gosh. This entire time. I forgot this is a DSLR, not a mirrorless. <laughs> <laughs> Cropping? No, exposure. Oh, yeah. Y'all, but you can fix that. They're beautiful. I think we're good, though. Yeah, they're, they're beautiful. I did totally screw it up, so that's nice. No, and that's no. why P for professional is a good idea. You ought to see this, though. I got one more. Yeah? Yeah, with that long-ass lens. That's such. Let's see if I can. I, uh, I changed your white balance and everything. Okay, did you? Okay. Yeah, I did. I ruined we, it. Where we at? Oh, you are a manual anyway. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta go to pee. Okay. Back to the middle. All right. <laughs> Let's try it. Kiss. 
All right. Doesn't quite work with this lens. Oh my God, are you kidding me? <laughs> Why? I don't the make 14 does wedding. it better. That right there. Sorry? The 14 Ooh. does it better. That looks great. Yeah. 14 does it better, but that's pretty hot. That's awesome. Right? Yeah, now here. Um, now I'm oh, good. Oh, no, okay. Because that's just not going to beat that. No, <laughs> it's not about beating anything, girlfriend. So let's talk about the fact that I forgot. Oof. I was not shooting mirrorless camera, and I should have looked at the light meter. Joe was fine. Oh, um, no, no he wasn't. No, yeah, because you shoot on what? I shoot on P mode. For a but professional. I haven't picked up a camera in three years. So I'm going, Wait, I've, where's I've that focus to, point? I've come to torture him. <laughs> These absolutely perfect. No, lead they're lit. okay. P mode. So typically, I, I was asking um, them, I do all my couples anyway, whether it's an engagement session or a wedding. Um, I ask them to think about the first day that they met, how she might have felt when he proposed on, a, on an engagement session, or when they walked down the aisle after they've been married. I asked them, hey, how are you feeling right now? And they turn towards each other, they start kissing one another, tears sometimes roll down, and I don't have to say another thing. I just continually shoot them. Yeah, and, and there's I think my overexposed you. image right uh, there, right there. <laughs> no, but show me the good ones. You have <laughs> right. good ones. Let's go. All right, so, and then you had a lot of nice movement in here, too. Yeah. And then when I had them spinning. Yep. And then your favorite one. Oh yeah, the sunset. Like, oh right? yeah, no, yeah, no. That's, that's, that's I feel the, like that's going to be the winner. That's going to be my my thing is the spinner. Yeah. <laughs> no, spinner. actually, yeah. These are the. Oh, these are yours. I yeah, love yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's okay. Love the action. Love the spin. Yeah. But the sunset. That's yeah. The, that's the killer. All right. Now these are mine. Yeah. 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 So I like getting that that. 45 hair degree hair oh, light. Oh, so beautiful. Even though it gives me retouching work sometimes. No, but it's stunning. Yeah. Oh, I love I that. I haven't shot with the 200 in a long time. I usually shoot with the 135. Yeah. Isn't the little cuties? Yeah, aren't so they? Cute. they? They are. Oh, it's so much fun. And then this is where we got a little overexposed because. That's okay. <laughs> I always remember to photograph the back of a dress because yeah. that's usually why the bride bought the dress, not for the front, for the back. Yeah. All right, and then this is just your magic. <laughs> now you were saying you wanted to shoot with what? Okay, so I, I normally shoot with a 14 millimeter 2.8 rectilinear lens. Which is a $2,000 lens. Which is a $2,000 so plus lens. I told yeah. Joe that was not appropriate for the budget it, it's, photography. It's not, it's not. <laughs> so I've, I've never done this shot with this particular lens, but uh, what I tend to do is I crank the ISO up to about 3200 uh, in P mode and I know pointing into the Sun I don't have to worry so much about my f-stop because what I want is the highest possible f-stop on that lens that creates the the, the, the diamond that you see in the yeah. sky well, it, it, and then it's, it's, also here like yes. on the on, on the, the dress on the water everywhere you see the Sun it sparkles and you you get these beautiful sunbursts and the 14 millimeter is insane because I run next to my client without looking and I have the camera right down here at my feet and I'm running next to him and I'm pulling the trigger That's and they're incre they're insane so this with the 70 to 200 is the first time I've ever tried that it's actually pretty good it looks good it looks good and then you wanted a high F stop so you well, have to, to check oh, it out one, one I'm at 32 and one yeah. eight thousandths of a second yeah. I mean I just I don't want to think about it right so in P mode at ISO 3200 I don't have to fiddle with anything because yeah. my shoots are super quick it's my, always going to be crisp yeah 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 well this has been the highlight of my life to say the least so we're going to go ahead and print each of our favorite images well I'm going to go print and she's going to print I'm going to print them I do the work yeah. Yeah. and uh and then I'll see you there Thank you for doing this with me. You were awesome. No, it was awesome. That was I, I had a good time. <laughs> thank you guys and thank you guys. Thank you guys. Oh wow. All right, now we're getting to printing. And there it goes, my photos and Joe's. And remember, we are using the 5D Mark III, so it is an older camera. You can get 
very inexpensive. We are printing on the Canon Pixma Pro 200. It is a fantastic, more on the inexpensive but still professional printer. So I'm printing my photo first. I think the photo had lended itself to a softer feel, so I think the matte is going to work really nicely. Joe's photo, a little bit more poppy, a little bit more dramatic. I'm gonna print his on a luster and let me know what you think. Now I did extend these prints to about 150 times. So it's not printing at 300 DPI because I did stretch them to be a 13 by 19 print. It's printing at about 195 uh, PPI, DPI. This says PPI. I always thought it was DPI, what do I know? I'm not a professional printer, I have to say, but this thing's pretty easy to use. You just plug and play. All right, I do love this matte paper. It's really, really pretty and definitely lending itself to this photograph. It was not only an honor to shoot with Joe's camera, but definitely funny when you pick up someone else's camera and their settings are just different from yours. So it did take me a second to get the focus uh, exactly where I wanted it to be. And there were certainly a couple of photos in here that were not at all in focus. I did change a few things. And then when I handed it back to Joe, he's like, wait, what happened? What's going on? So we had to reset it for him. So just funny how different photographers shoot. So this one is my photograph on the matte paper. I did, with this camera, still have the ability to bring back a lot of the highlights that were blown out in the water, but there are some spots, like this big white spot here is really bugging me. Um, not to downvote myself, but it is. And then I could have come in and retouched the highlight on her hair to be a little bit more subtle, but I'm still happy with this image and I know my clients would be too. So let's pull out Joe's. All right, so here we have Joe's gorgeous silhouette, really doing almost the exact opposite of how I shot, going with a higher uh, aperture to get the starburst here versus mine. I went for a really low aperture so I could blur the background. But this came out perfectly on the luster paper and just a gorgeous romantic shot. I have to say I did play, cause you know, Joe didn't edit this, I did. Uh, I played a little bit with going from a warm photo to a cold photo, getting a blue sky versus this one, but I just kind of went with as it was shot. So these are the two final photos. Let me know which one is your favorite down below. Joe's definitely Joe's. Um, and uh, thank you so much for watching and thank you Joe for giving me just the absolute honor and pleasure of being able to photograph alongside you. The printer's excited too. Make sure you check out not only the other videos in this series, the budget photography gear shootout, but I have a special little video with my conversation with Joe that you can check out that was just aired. Very inspiring. He's just has always been my biggest mentor and inspiration for photographing weddings. Um, so definitely check that out. And honestly, we only touched the surface of his story. He's just such a legend. So thank you so much for being here. Hit like, subscribe, ring the bell. See you next time.